Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see what is no such session exception and how do we handle no such session exception in Selenium. So first let us understand what no such session exception with an analogy. Imagine you are on a phone call with a friend and uh, your friend's phone abruptly ends the call as its battery suddenly depletes and it gets switched off. So you, but you are unaware of this and you continue talking, expecting a response. So when you get no reply, right? So you're confused and realize the call has been disconnected, right? So in the same way, when the browser session is no longer active, and when we try to attempt the, to call the web driver methods on the browser, then it triggers the no such session exception, right? So let us understand with an example. Say for example, so you can see an example here. I have I created a driver web driver instance and instantiated it to the Chrome driver. So a Chrome browser window gets launched, and we are navigating to Google.com. We are maximizing the window, right? So we, we are simulating some actions here. I wanted to get the title of the window. So we use driver.get title method, right? And we are printing the title on the console, right? Till here, it is fine, right? Now, for the sake of example, we want we'll quit, we'll quit the driver to simulate the unexpected issue that closes the session. So we are using driver.quit. But in real-time scenario, this could be a browser crash or network issue, right? So this need not be the quit method, but this that could be an unexpected browser crash or network issue, right? So we just wanted to simulate that. So we are using driver.quit here. And then after quit, we are using the same web driver instance to actually perform some other action. Right? So this will throw the no such session exception as the browser session is no longer valid. Right? So now let us execute this and see. Yeah, you can see it navigates to google.com, page title is Google, and boom, you can see no such session exception, right? So after quit, so we are trying to use, uh, perform some action using the same web driver instance. So we can see no such session exception, session the ID is null. So it is also giving you a hint. Are you using web driver after calling quit is what it is saying you. So, so that you can correct it, right? So yeah. We did that, but in real time, that could be uh, because of a different reason. But the point to be noted here is we got no such session exception and how do we resolve it? So in this case, what we can do is, how do we resolve it? So the entire code snippet can be put in a try block and we can catch the exception. The no such session exception, we can catch it. And once we catch it, right? So then what we need to do is we'll restart the driver. We know the driver session is uh, no longer valid. so we are restarting the driver. That is instantiating it to the Chrome driver again. And we can perform some actions here. Here we just maximize the window and then we are navigating to a different URL, second URL, which we wanted to perform, right? And then we, we perform some action here, right? Right. Again, we are getting the title of the new URL. So that is, that, that's how you need to handle it or resolve the no such session exception. So in the catch block, we actually catch the exception and then we need to restart the driver and continue performing the actions using the web driver instance. Now, if you see, it will navigate to google.com as per the instruction, gets the title of that page, and then we use driver.quit, right, in the drive block. So it closes the browser window and when we try to perform an action, so then it will throw the exception. So that exception will be caught in the cache block. See, it closed the window. Now it is trying to open the new window because it's now in the cache block. It's executing. See, you can see page title is Google. No such session exception occurred. Session ID is null, right? So this we are here now in this cache block. And now using this, a new browser window has been opened, right? So it navigates to youtube.com and then, yeah, it has to again, yeah, it quits it, right? Finally, it quits it after printing the page title, right? So now 
we are not getting no such session exception, right? So this is how you actually resolve the exception, this except, this ex exception, right? So there are some, some other possible uh, reasons for getting this uh, exception. exception. So uh, the possible reasons are, so issues with browser stability or user intervention. So when the browser crashes, that is, it closes suddenly by itself or when a person shuts it down, during a script in action, right? So then Selenium loses its connection with the browser. And then we get this exception. So how do you resolve in that case? So we need to check uh, the browser logs to see if there was any crash. And we have to make sure our test environment is stable and that uh, no other processor interfering with the browser. We have to make sure about that. And also we have to make sure during the execution of the Selenium script, right? So no one should manually close the browser, right? So let the script manage the opening and closing of the browser, but man manually, you should not actually close the browser. So that's how you can actually solve this issue, right? The second reason, possible reason could be network delays or extended operation times, right? So there could be scenarios where some operations take an unusually long time, right? Or network delays might occur and uh, which leads to the session timeout. And then it triggers the except this exception, right? No such session exception. In that case, how do we solve it? Is we have to ensure that your our network is stable and there are no interruptions, right? And also, if you need to keep the session alive, right? Always, so you might consider using the methods like you know driver dot get URL or driver dot refresh. You have to use this periodically in your script. So just to make sure that our session is alive. Right. And the other possible reason could be with the parallel, right? Parallel sessions, problems with parallel Selenium sessions, right? So operating when you are operating several Selenium sessions at the same time, right? Without adequate control, then that could cause the conflict in the sessions, leading to this exception, right? So in that case, how do we solve it? Is we have to isolate the WebDriver instances. We have to ensure that each WebDriver instance runs its in runs in its own thread and does not share the resources across the shape. It, it does not share the resources with others, right? So basically you have to use a thread safe approach, thread safe techniques to manage the web driver instances and interactions, right? So that's how we can solve this. And the last one is like, uh, there could be some incompatibility between your browser, browser version and web driver version, right? So there could be some mismatch between these versions. So in that case, how do you resolve it? Is we have to always keep our browser version and web browser uh, uh, version uh, up to date, right? So that's how we can solve the last one, right? And uh, besides these precautions, you should always use the try catch blocks so that even if the test case fails, right? So it fails with proper messages. It gives you some message. It gives you some hint why it failed, right? So that we need to take care, like how we have seen uh, in an example, right? In a, uh, before few minutes, like we have seen in our example, how we caught uh, the exception in the cache block and we, we were able to handle it, right? So that's how you can actually, even the test case, if even if the test case fails also, at least you'll get a proper message, right? Why it failed. That's how you need to resolve it, right? So, so this is how you ha actually handle the no such session exception. So in this video, we have seen what is no such session exception and how do we resolve it and what are the possible causes and how what are the solutions or prevention uh, precautions right we have to take not to get this or avoid this no such session exception that's all for this video thanks for watching if you like the video please like subscribe and share it